Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today is video number four from a series I call I am 45. I am 45 years old and uh, I've been asked at the gym a couple of interesting questions that I thought if I would answer them separately they would not relate to anything else but if you put them in the right context why i do what i do why i feel the way i feel and how can i help people around me i decided to create a series of videos which first was just generic one i'm 45 the second was about sleep the third one was about breakfast and now we at the video i call lunch I think I call breakfast as most important meal of the day and they say no it is not and it's true I would like you to be metabolically flexible if you are eating right food and there's a lot of discussion on the internet what's right food what's not right food I would say right food would not make you hungry soon after you're eating it Right food would not make you tired. Right food would be tasty and right food would be good for you when you decide to eat it. For example, yesterday I did not eat for 24 hours. I didn't have time. I was busy and somewhere, you know, deep in my mind, I planned that if I don't have time for it, I just won't eat. And I did not feel hungry. There are ways to dig into energy inside you. Uh, we've got so much energy inside us. If you, if you, if you, if you're part of what people call ketogenic diet, and I'm not endorsing it, um, or low carb diet, or Atkins diet, or uh, carnivore diet, or animal eating diet you will know that any of those diets would produce as a main source of fuel ketones in your body ketones are created by breaking down fats into butyrates and acetone and ketone bodies and uh, are done by oxygen that means if you are not eating you have enormous resource inside you in a layer of uh, fat for example I'm quite lean person I'm currently 10% body fat and 10% body fat that means I've got readily available between 2 to 3% body fat on me they can sustain me if I eat minerals um, vitamins and drink water probably a month of not eating but we're not going to extreme that's just good example let's say if I don't eat for one day I don't have to feel tired, hungry, and any of those. If you're metabolically healthy, your lunch should not be midday. Your lunch could be first meal of the day or what I would suggest, a last meal of the day. And that would be plugging well into your sleep routine because I mentioned in the sleep routine in the previous video that ideally you would eat last time between three to four hours before going to bed. Well, if you're eating six hours before going to bed, you just get in that kind of peckish feeling. You're not really hungry. And then you're going to bed, you will sleep much better. There's no digestion going on. You, you've got a body in full recovery mode. And you wake up in the morning, you already haven't been eaten for more than 12 hours. That means you're actually fasting. Uh, because fasting anything between you know, after 12 14 hours you can start that fasting um, approach so what I'm encourage you to do is um, don't have snacks have um, one two no more than three meals a day and hopefully depends on your lifestyle um, if you don't have time for breakfast eat lunch dinner but you know, if you do have opportunity for a big nutritious breakfast um, and then have lunch, that should be your last meal of the day. However, if it's not last, it's not that matters. So when do you eat lunch? When you're ready for lunch. Don't eat lunch if you're not hungry. If you're not hungry, your body does not need anything. So 
and if you're always hungry you need to question yourself what you're eating to make you hungry so i'm not going to that debate just saying if you're not hungry do not eat what to eat for lunch look if breakfast was mostly uh quality fats and proteins lunch should be most versatile meal uh, of the day as i say look i'm not big on eating vegetables or people call plants because they got a lot of phytonutrients oxalates and other things but you still need to eat um i guess between one to five serves of vegetables hopefully your snack will be quality fruit seasonal not imported from anywhere that will ensure a bit of variety in your gut bacteria the reason why i mentioned variety and not vitamins believe it or not that besides vitamin c most of the vitamins are coming from animal product and most of them coming from um what we call internal organs like liver like heart like kidneys um, so for example uh, people will say oh what about carrots you got some retinol no you're not getting a uh, retinol vitamin for vitamin vitamin a for carrots you're getting prerequisite to vitamin a which needs to be converted when you eat liver there's a plenty of vitamin a if you eat heart there's nothing that gives you coenzyme q10 better than eating heart and so on i don't want to go into nutrition but i suggest a majority of your uh, food intake at lunchtime will be animal meat and when i say animal it doesn't have to be steak it's actually very poor nutrition in the steak because if you can avoid or just minimize your muscle meat and have organ meat you will be better off so here's your lunch if you're vegetarian i'm sorry um a, i don't want to go into controversy of the subject i suggest you objectively look at the nutrition and what it does to you in long term I'm not carnivore, I'm not keto, I'm not anything. I'm just looking at the nutrition and what it gives to me. Uh, I just know if you are on vegetarian diet, um, it's a lot of work to make it, um, I'd say, not damaging to you. And if you're not professional, if you're not looking after professionals or professionals look after you, um, you cannot survive on a vegetarian diet and stay healthy for a long time but again um feel free to disagree i'm not arguing with anyone i'm just suggesting to consume diet that is um or will satisfy you that is nutritious and that easy to obtain almost anywhere and also cheap so that's what what i suggest to um eat um so to recap if you can lunch should be your last meal if you cannot it should be just meal and meal that is nutritious so if you didn't watch my previous couple of videos that I already recorded feel free to um, scroll through my channel and have a look if you like this video or any other videos on my channel feel free to subscribe please hit the thumbs up because it helps me to promote my videos that are not sponsored by anyone else I'm not getting any kickbacks from anyone. I'm just trying to share information that I've got um, to help people to be stronger, to be healthier, to be happier and achieve results that they're trying to achieve. Um, so yeah, if you like this video or you've got any suggestions or any comments, comment down below. I'm looking forward to it and your comments, your suggestions actually hit me on next videos to create. For now, thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.